everyone. Yasas Kekalos Sirzateh to another episode of Dimitra's Dishes. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a classic Greek side dish known as patates yakni. It's a really quick and easy potato stew that you can have ready on the table in like an hour or less. And it's just made with very simple ingredients like potatoes, onions, tomato, a few herbs. You probably have everything in your pantry to make it. You probably already have everything in your pantry to do this recipe, so let's get started. Okay, we're gonna begin by finely chopping an onion and adding it to a pot with a little bit of olive oil. And this is gonna cook over medium heat until the onion is nice and soft and golden. And that should take about eight minutes or so. So in that time, you can go ahead and peel your potatoes. You can use russet potatoes for this or golden potatoes for this. Now the recipe calls for about five medium to large potatoes, but these are a little bit smaller, so I'm doubling it up and adding, and I didn't even count them. There's about eight here. Peel these and then cut them into cubes. This is the size that you're looking for. Set them aside. Once the onion is nice and soft, this got a little bit too dark in some areas, but it'll be totally fine. We're just going to add two garlic cloves that are grated, warm that through just for a few seconds until they're nice and fragrant, and then add the potatoes to the pot with 16 ounces of grated canned tomatoes, or you can grate fresh tomatoes if you'd like. Two to three allspice berries, this is what they look like. We can season this with some salt and freshly cracked black pepper, a teaspoon of dried oregano, a little bit of crushed red pepper flakes if you like them, and then we're gonna add enough water so that the potatoes are almost covered. Now, if you're using canned tomatoes, you can add a little pinch of sugar to this or some honey just to get rid of that acidity. So about a teaspoon is what you would start with. And then once the meal is cooked, you can taste it and see if it needs a little bit more. Mix this all up and let it come to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, reduce the heat to a low, cover the pot and let this simmer on low heat for about 30 minutes or until the potatoes are fork tender. Give everything a nice mix. The sauce will have thickened. You can taste it at this point and see if it needs more salt, if it needs another little pinch of sugar. But if it's all good and the meal is ready, all we need is to garnish this with some fresh parsley and it's ready to serve. And there you have it. Just like that, the potato stew is ready. The whole thing was about an hour from start to finish, probably a little bit less. This is a delicious side dish that goes well with everything. You can also serve it as a main course with some boiled eggs or maybe fried eggs or poached eggs on top. I put eggs on almost all my veggies. I love them. But it's definitely one of those very simple dishes that packs lots of flavor. And the potatoes are so tender, the fork just slides right through them. So good. That tomato sauce got a little bit sweet. It's rich and thick. The potatoes absorbed all that delicious flavor. Of course, I recommend to serve this with some feta and olives on the side for a complete meal. Is a meal even complete without feta? <laughs> I love it. I pretty much put it on everything. I hope you guys give this recipe a try. You can head on over to the website, DimitrisDishes.com, to print this recipe out. If you have any special requests, post them down below, and I'll, and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I'll see you all next time. Yes, us.